Hello everybody. Welcome to SLA Creations. All right. I know you all um, asked me a long time, my apologies, about how, how I created my money cake. I actually, um, which I'll put in the description box, I actually uh, looked on someone else's page to find out how to make this. Um, and it turned out to be a great success. So I'm going to show you my way, which is similar to their way. But um, you asked for it, so here it goes. These are the tools that we're going to need. The majority of this came from the Dollar Tree. Um, so we'll start with naming all the different things I have. So we have our, our styrofoam. This is what we're going to use to make our tears for our cake. So I actually purchased three of these. This is the third one, however, I cut it already. So I have those three, then I have these two packs from the Dollar Tree. I have my diamonds that I may use, I'm not sure. They're from the Dollar Tree. And uh, let's see, I'm not sure if I knew, need this, but this is a reg regular, you know, the string, the regular. Uh, and this is something I have out of my craft box. So it's actually a gold tape. It's tape and it's gold. I'm gonna use it for something, just not quite sure how. But I have these two on standby. I have my tape. I have stick pins. On my previous money tree, oh, I'm sorry, my money cake, I had my dollars rolled up pretty tight because it was $100 bills. And as I was putting them up on the cake, they were so tight that I was able to fit them all. But now this is not 100, I'm doing this project for someone. And it's not a hundred dollars I think it's about 63 because the person is turning 63 years old so I have my money rolled up a little a little fatter than what it was previously and of course it's to you know be more uh, spacious so that hopefully I'll have enough dollar bills to go around um, the tiers of the cake so they're not um, small you know how we roll them real tight they're not small I got them kind of wide and we're going to place them on the tier just like that and then I have more, of course, I got them. I haven't finished yet. So those are my dollars. And I have this, I got this from the Dollar Tree. And this is just a mirror, uh, a regular mirror. I'm just gonna use it for something else. I need a base, so I'm gonna actually have it like this as my base. And then uh, this is another part of my base. Let me take the money out. This is another part of my base, Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna mount this like this, just to give the cake a little height so it'll actually be like that, and then the cake will be on top up here. Okay, so, and then of course, we have our Dollar Flowers. I thought this was real nice. It has little clips where I can clip it wherever I want to on the cake. And these are other ones. I'm not sure. I think I got these from the Dollar Tree um, a while back, and I actually just took the stems off. So I'm going to try to, hopefully all these colors will work together. And I have these little flowers I call whatnots because I do arts and crafts all the time. So these were spray painted gold from a while back for another project. I thought that would be a cute touch, and these are just purple little flowers. So we're going to see how that works. Uh, Did I finish telling you about my stick pins? Okay, so because I need to roll these fatter, they won't hold up like they did previously because I had them like that very tiny. And as you put them together, they're real compact. And so then I put my ribbon on the outside of the dollar bills going around and it was fine. But with these, because they're so chunky, when I put my ribbon on, it's gonna press it in. So that's not cute and that's not the look I'm looking for. So I'm gonna have to keep them rolled fat like that. And then unfortunately, it's $63. So that means I'm gonna have to pin this with stick pins 63 times. The things we do. So I'm gonna go underneath and one by one, I'm gonna have to just stick these in so they can't it can't be seen from the there we go, like that. 
And all I did was take it, let me get my pen. I took my pen, I lined it up to the phone, I went underneath inside. And you're gonna have to be able to hold it up so you can get under there. And so that'll be the way that I would have to do this. So I stick it in and I do that all the way around. It won't look like that, I'm just giving you an example. Okay, so let me, well, I'll leave them there. Okay, so that's all the stuff that I have. Now let me show you this. This is just a regular box. What I did was I needed this portion right here because on this tier that I just cut down, because these were all the same, but I needed something smaller to make so I can lie my dollar bills. So I got a regular kitchen knife actually because uh, I didn't have any other anything else to use. And I just shaved this down until it got to the size I thought would be good, which is just enough to fit the dollars along the brim of this. So with this, that being said, when I put this top tier on, because of the hole, it'll go inside. And that's not the look I want, you know, for it to press down inside. So what I did was, when I stack these like this, I'm gonna put this one on the top and then I'm able to put my, my tear up there like that. So that's what this is for. It, that's what this is for. And of course, I just found the box in the house. So that's what I used. So I used this box. I uh, drew the circle. You know how you do it. By putting it like that, I drew my circle around and I got this. So that'll go here. This will go there. And I probably won't use all four of these again. I'm probably going to take one out and sit it up here so this could be a little taller. And this is how we have it. So now, one thing I, the last thing I want to bring out is this material. Now, this is just material I have in the house um, from other projects. And if you saw my first cake, it had a red, you know, a nice red material at the bottom. Kind of dress it up a little bit, you know? So... What I have is my cake stand right here. I put my material, you know, just kind of dress it up a little bit. And then I put my cake on like that. And then have my flowers kind of sacheting down like that. So just to give it a little touch. So, I mean, it's up to you. If you want the material, you know, go get you a nice material based on the colors that you, the color scheme you're trying to do. Or you can do it without the material, either way. But I like the material look. I like I like that look, so I'm gonna go with it. So we have that. And then, what I also did was, if you notice, when I put this together, I don't want any of this to show this ledge right here, or brim, I don't want that to show. So I, like I said, I use this for projects, so I already got things cut out. So I have to, you know, make it pretty, cut it real nice, and maybe get some, get a lighter and kind of singe the ends. Just make it pretty. I don't know. We'll see. But I already used this for other stuff. So what I did was, I don't want this exposed, so I took a piece of this material, and I traced this. Oh, not that one. I traced this one on the material. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out so that it could be up here. Then this will be here. And then that way, as you have your dollars up here, you see how that may be exposed right there? Uh, so with that being said, I want to, I'm going to cut this out and hot glue it to this tier right here. And then by the time you put something up front, if you have to look down, you'll see the gold and you won't see the um, the green foam. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. So I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting out my circle right here on this fabric. And then I'm gonna glue my base together. Hot glue, I'm gonna hot glue everything. Glue my base together. I'm gonna cut this in a circle. And then I'm going to come back to you.